Four days ago, we saw the release of Magic Coder, a series of fully open source code, weights, and training data sources, meaning that anyone can access and use their code, hence why they named their research paper Source Code is All You Need. It's a new large language model for code that significantly closes the gap with top code models while having no more than 7 billion parameters in terms of its model size. Now we mentioned this before in previous videos where smaller parameter size models are overtaking larger model sizes due to new optimized training methods and now we're seeing this exact same effect with coding large language models. Magic Coder excels in various sorts of tasks like converting text to Python code, understanding and writing code, as well as processing it in multiple different types of languages. It's also capable of completing data science programs, which is a really unique feature that we haven't seen with many other sorts of coding large language models. One specific version, the Magic Coder CL7 billion parameter model, even outperformed ChatGPT in the coding benchmark test, Human Evaluation. Magic Coder models are trained on 75k synthetic instruction data using this new OSS instruct method, which is a new novel approach to enlightening large language models with open source code snippets to generate high quality instruction data for code. Overall, the introduction of this new process or this new approach of OSS Instruct represents a significant advancement in this field. It shows how using a vast amount of open source code can help create more accurate and less biased models for coding tasks. Now throughout today's video, we're going to be showcasing and uncovering what Magic Coder is by further exploring the capabilities of it, how we can install it, and just basically going a little bit more in depth on this new model. So with that thought guys, definitely stay tuned, but let's get straight into the video. If you would like to access our private discord where you can access subscriptions to AI tools for free, get networking opportunities, collaboration, daily AI news, you have various different AI topics being discussed on the discord, as well as a lot of support. Definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at Magic Coder, which is a new large language model. It's basically a group of models that uses the new method called OSS Instruct. This is to make them better at understanding and generating code. Now, OSS Instruct helps these models by giving them a lot more examples from open source code. When it's basically making the models better at creating a diverse and more realistic instruction for coding tasks. This approach reduces the biases in the generation as well as instructions that are given to the code and it improves the overall quality of this model. This is something that we're going to take a look at as we go a little bit more in depth in explaining this new method, taking a look at Magic Coder and taking a look at how we can get started with it. Now let's take a deeper look as to what this actual research paper is discussing. Well, it starts off by talking about code generation, specifically focusing on Magic Coder's model family, which is empowered by OSS Instruct. Now, it highlights the dominance of closed source models in code generation benchmarks, and it introduces a self-instruct method to enhance instruction following ability of open source large language models. This is going to revolutionize the way we fine tune and develop such models. It notes the limitations in relying on predefined tasks as well as working towards inherent biases. Now we can see in this figure over here, the overview of OSS Instruct and Pass at One results of different large language models on Human Evaluation Plus. We can see that, if you zoom in a little bit more, we can see that Magic Coder is doing a really good job in terms of comparison to other coding models with the 7 billion parameter model. Now, if you are to compare it with other like GPT models, for example, Wizard Coder, which are larger parameter size, you can see that it's not able to beat like GPT, obviously, or Wizard, Wizard Coder, but it's able to beat many of these other models that are higher in parameter sizes. It shows that this new method of developing this model is better than the previous methods as they have more refined 
tools as well as methods to basically fine tune and develop such a model such as magic coder. Now, as I stated that there's limitations in relying on predefined tasks, heuristics, as well as leading into inherent biases. Now, what the authors have done to propose a solution for this is to mitigate the biases and enable large language models to generate high quality and creative code instruction by learning directly from open source code. This method is leveraging a powerful large language model to draw inspiration from random, random code snippets. And this is from like open source code, which produces diverse and realistic code problems. Now this OSS instruct method is applied to generate 75 K synthetic data for fine tuning. And this is something that they mentioned. They're trained on 75 K fine tuning or synthetic instruction data using this new OSS instruct method. And they've done this with Code Llama, which is their Python 7 billion parameter model. And it resulted in development of the Magic Coder CL. Now, this is an approach that is deemed to be simple, effective, and it's something that anyone can do with existing data generation methods. Let's take a look at this figure that is showcasing the detailed prompt design for OSS Instruct. This is something that will get you a better idea as to how this new method basically evolves these large language models. Basically, it's a system for generating programming problems. This is a prompt for that, and it guides the user on creating high quality programming problems that are inspired by a code given snippet. We can see this with the initial prompt. You're exceptionally skilled at crafting high quality programming problems and offering precise solutions. Please gain inspiration from the following random code snippet to create high quality programming problems. Present your output in two distinct sections, problem description and the solution. And we can see that it moves forward with the solution, which requires a correct and comprehensive solution. And it's something that aligns with the provided problem description. Now, this serves as a structure that guides to ensure the clarity, the completeness, as well as the correctness of generating the programming problems. And it gives you this guideline afterwards. And it's a good way to showcase a detailed prompt design for this new OSS instruct method. Let's take a look at this figure, which is demonstrating how OSS Instruct helps large language models by providing examples as to how they can draw inspiration from seed code snippets. You can see this with the definition that is set, whether that's a shell script, class signature, or library imports. It's basically showcasing how these seed code snippets are used to create new coding problems and solutions. For instance, in this example for a shell script, we can see that a large language model can craft a Python code, which states that this problem, the problem actually states that create a Python program that generates an error file based on the given data set. And with this crafted Python coding problem, it uses just one line of shell script. Another example is something that involves library imports. This is where the LLM can generate a realistic machine learning problem with a few imports as well as a few statements of imports. Sorry. Now we can see that this whole figure highlights the LLM's ability to generate coding tasks from incomplete class definitions, which incorporates annotations and keywords. Overall, we can see that this OSS instruct method is able to enable various different large language models to create diverse coding challenges, including like algorithm tasks, realistic problems, single function code generation, and so much more. This is something that will be used in many different use cases. So I definitely love taking a good time to spotlight this new method of OSS Instruct. Now let's take a look at the implementation details of this model. Now, what they have done for the data generation is that they used the GPT 3.5 Turbo model, and it's basically used as the foundation for OSS Instruct. And this is because it's a cost-effective model that is needed for coding problems and solutions that are generated from it. And what this does is that it randomly extracts 1 to 15 lines from code documents in StarCoder data. Now, they go through our data decontamination, which is something that you can read on the research paper. And then for the training, this is something that's more important. But what they have done is that the base model of what they've used for this training method is the Code Llama Python 7 billion parameter model, as well as the DeepSeq Coder base 6.7 
billion parameter model. They have fine-tuned these two models on 75k synthetic data using OSS and struct. Now the training parameters include using ADA factor as an optimizer and a batch size of 512. Now this is something that they've done with this whole process. There's more information on it as to what models or graphics cards they use for this training method. So if you're interested in this, definitely take a look at the implementation data section of this research paper. Now I'll leave all the links in the description below so that you can access all of these things fairly easily. Now let's actually take a look at the evaluations before we go forward in installing this. Now what they've done is that they created this table which showcases this showcases the pass at one evaluation, the results of different large language models on human evaluation and BPP and computed with the greedy decoding. Now they have put the abbreviation of CL as well as CS which corresponds to the base models of Code Llama Python and Star Coder respectively. Now the results that are consistently reported are based on the evaluation plus leaderboard and the use of human evaluation as well as this new, not new but MBPP uh, benchmark. And these are something that suggests the performance in various different categories and we can see that the Magic Coder CL as well as the Magic Coder SCL are doing quite good in comparison to the other models that are out there in terms of larger parameter sizes. It definitely beats all of the ones that are on their same parameter size like uh, under sizes and we can see that when it's in comparison to larger sizes it even does a great job in outranking them. Now there are there is one section in this research paper that states that chat GPT's 3.5 turbo model was beat on the human evaluation benchmark in comparison to magic coder which is a huge feat and it's something that shows that these smaller models are becoming more reputable because of the different types of methods as to how they are developed and trained upon. Now if you want more of a detailed analysis for different evaluation metrics and benchmarks definitely take a look at the research paper more in depth in this section because they explore the comparison of other models in various different tasks. For example you have code generation with Python, you have multilingual code generation, code generation for data science and so much more. But now let's get to the next step of the video where we go forward in the installation of this model. There is different model cards that are there at the moment. You have the CL 7 billion as well as the CC, I mean the SCL, sorry, 7 billion. Now these are the four models that you can play with at this current moment. They're very, very useful and it's something that is basically deployable in various cases because of their licensing. So if you're interested in playing around with this next step, you can stay tuned and we can move forward with the installation process. Now to install this locally, you're going to need to have LM Studio. This is something that I always preach on this channel. It's a new way for you to run any open source large language model fairly easily. So if you do not have this, you can definitely take a look at this video, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. This will help you install LM Studio. But once you have LM Studio installed, you can simply just open it up. Once you have this app opened up, we can then move forward with installation. Now, what you want to do first is select whatever model that you want to play with. You have the 6.7 billion parameter size, both for the CL and the SCL method. You have it for the 7 billion parameter model size as well. So if you're interested, select whatever model that you want to play with based off the licensing that they have for each of these models. Once you have selected that model off of Hugging Face, you can simply just copy the code, or not the code, but the model card. Once you have copied the model card, you can just simply click on go, click on compatibility guess, click whatever model that you want to download, download this model based off the requirements that you want to play with, then go to the conversation tab, select the model that you want to load, and you can start chatting with it right away within your local host off LM Studio. And that's fairly easy as it's something that doesn't require a lot of time to install and it's something that you can start playing around with right now. But that's basically it for today's video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Definitely love this new project Magic Coder. Uh, so huge props to the developers and the team behind it as they have found a new novel approach in developing such a small sized model that plays a significant role in the world of AI. 
but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you check out the patreon page if you want to access our private discord make sure you follow world of ai on twitter if you guys haven't already and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas